Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I am going to be starting a series called Madison Talks Way Too Much About Rabbits. Now in this series, I'm going to go over a various amount of rabbit information, or like today, I might just gush a little bit, or I might have a scheduled video out, but the point is I'm going to have a series dedicated to the rabbits. And I would also do this with the horses, but horses are a little less homesteady. But if y'all want a series that's called Madison Talks Too Much About Horses, hi Max, I will do that too. I, I can talk about horses and rabbits all day, like all day, like to the point where, Danny, if you're watching this video, just stop, it's just more rabbit talk. The goat is on the stand I am using. I hate this goat. I love him, but I hate him. Max! Was that necessary? Yes, you are the star of the show, Max. Always the star. I moved to the porch, so Max was less of an annoyance. He's right there. At least here, he can't, like, squish a bunny. Um, anyway, so, on today's episode of Madison Talks Way Too Much About Bunnies, I am going to show you how I choose a rabbit for our breeding program. And this is from Little Itty Bitties. This one's my favorite all the way up to our junior does and bucks and our senior does and bucks. So just because they're cute, I'm gonna start off with the babies first because we have a brand new litter of eight babies out of Sally and Coco. And I absolutely adore this pairing. Um, when I look at these babies, they are everything that I want. They're gaining weight really fast. They are a uh, very good shape. They have a very good personality. And, you know, I'll get into a little bit more of why I really like this pairing. So the first thing I want to say about our breeding program and any breeding program in general is you should not breed for color. This might sound ironic because in one of my videos, I said I would really love to have some Harlequins and blue-eyed whites, right? I would love to have some of those. With that being said, if I got a Harlequin that had a bad body type, a bad attitude, uh, had, uh, you know, wrong teeth, I would not be breeding it. I would be happy that I could get a rabbit with those genetics and that coloration, but I would have to see what the other kits look like. Because even if I got a Harlequin, you know, the color I want, what is it worth if they do not meet breed standard and improve the breed. And we're not just, you know, sorry, Sydney is looking into, uh, right now my uh, stand is the litter box. So she's looking at all the baby bunnies and keeps getting in the shot. I love you. So breed standard is what's important. We want to improve the breed. So it doesn't matter uh, if I have an entire barn of blue eyed whites if their fur is crap, right? It doesn't improve the breed. And that is a color in the mini Rex breed that already has a bad reputation because they are not the uh, the best, right? They're not casters, they're not blacks. They're not a color that has been recognized for a long time. So breed standard. So I'm gonna get these little guys laid out, show you what this litter looks like. And then I'm going to go over some of my favorites in the litter and some of my least favorites in the litter. and. I gotta say, I have a couple in here that are just so cute, so cute. So here is the entire litter outside of the nesting box. We have, this one loves me. I know. So we have two ca broken casters, two casters, a lilac, a broken chocolate, a black, no. and a broken black, right? No. <laughs> and as you can see from all of them rushing Sydney, uh, they have very friendly personalities. So this is all the babies separated into, at the moment, what I would keep for breeding. 
and what I would either get rid of in the form of pets or to put in freezer camp. The green bucket is preliminary keeps and the blue bucket is get rid of. So why did I separate them into the buckets like this? Well, for one, it's easier. And for two, there are a couple of reasons. Um, automatically, if they are in the blue bucket, they're boys, right? I don't need any more boys right now in my breeding program and none of these are spectacular, right? So they're going away. So for instance, um, this lilac right here, and I'll tell you why otherwise I'm not breeding this lilac also, but just based off the fact he's a boy, I will not be breeding him and he'll go into the blue bucket. So. Another reason that I put some of these in the blue bucket are these casters, right? Um, I don't like their coloration. And again, you don't want to breed for color, but if their color's not good to begin with, there's really no need to put it back into your lines, right? And they're just, they're kind of light. They're kind of dull. They have some harlequin colorations off their back end that i'm not the most fond of and if i'm gonna breed a caster i need something that has a magnificent um coloration and then also um i have two broken casters in here and again they're not just not that great right um they're both i have a boy in there and i have a girl the girl has this little butterfly that's uneven. If you see on the nose, she has a brown spot here and a white spot here. It's um, it's not disqualification, but you do get better points in um, competitions for an even amount of color to include the face butterfly. So blue bucket is the tosses. My keeps for now, cause this could always change, are my broken chocolate, my black broken, and my black baby. All right, first off, they're all girls, right? Not keeping any boys from this litter, they are all girls. Second, my black and my broken black are both my two biggest babies, right? Which brings me to why I will not breathe the lilac. Lilac's my runt, black's my chunk. They are the same age, same litter, same mommy and daddy, right? I have a smaller bunny here and I got a chunk here. And I'll show you from an above angle of the differences. So if you see here, my black baby is a good bit larger looking than my lilac. So I wanna breed the babies that grow faster and are chunkier because they will more likely survive. So again, to recap on my kits, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for gender. I am looking for a good birth weight. I will not breed a runt. I'm looking for a good birth weight and a good gaining weight. I keep track of their weights. And then sometimes at this age, coloration can decide it. Um, but remember, Coloration does not dictate keeping if the type or your other qualities don't match. So for instance, this gorgeous little lilac baby, I love the color. I hope in the future I have more of these little guys cause I, I love lilacs, but because he is a runt, I will not keep him in my breeding program because it's, it's not worth the risk of him carrying on that gene of whatever caused him to be a runt. When it comes to favorites out of this litter, my chunk butt, my little black rabbit, this is everything in a kit that I want, All right? It's a female, she's chunky, she has what looks to be a decent body type right now, and she has the correct um, coloration, right? She has dark eyes, dark nails, all that good stuff. So in theory, in the future, she should carry on my lines the best. So 
that's gonna recap our kit. And now I'm going to move into our junior rabbits. So junior rabbits, in case you don't know, are rabbits under the age of six months who have not bred. So this is one of my junior does. This is Saddle. And she is one of the babies from the summer from Peppers and Sally. All right, trying to get a good, I'm gonna change where we are. All right, so this is a better spot away from the dogs. So my junior rabbits have to pass the same standard as that my kids do, and then some standards on top of it, right? So when I'm looking here, this is when I start looking at the rabbit's confirmation, right? So let's get her nice and set up here. I like this angle better because she looks a lot better, right? So I'm looking for a nice sloped butt that doesn't pinch in and then a nice full shoulder and a calm demeanor, right? So I love her body type. She has a gorgeous body type. She is the best of Sally and Peppers put together, right? She has a great rounded body. And she also has Sally's personality. So that's what I want in a rabbit is I want a good body type with a great personality, right? And then on top of that, I want good color, right? So I have this, this is my ideal doe. She has a nice even butterfly. Um, and then again, and then she also fits breed standards when it comes to her eyes and her nails, right? So every color has their own standards for eyes and nails. It's something you have to look in for your handbook, right? This is a doe I cannot wait to breed. Um, we're going to be breeding her and her sister at six months old. And I am so excited to see what she gives me. She is getting bred to Coco. So I'm really excited about that. It's a completely new line to introduce to Peppers and Sally's line. And I'm so very excited. Another thing with her is she has an amazing fur type. And just all around great great bunny for my line so i'm super excited to breed her and put her in my program so my other junior doe that i kept from our previous litter in the spring is blue is she blue no why do i call her blue she had little spots that looked blue on her butt when she was a baby right but those spots kind of went away she has a better coloring now Again, we don't breed for color, but it is something we look at, right? I love my baby. I like her dark caster color better than her sister's and she her lines. So when you blow in on a caster, they have ring lines in their fur, right? Her lines are better. So the only thing is, is I hate her personality. This, she's skitterish. She's always scared all the time. Picking her up is a burden, right? And if I had one that looked exactly like her with a better personality, I'd breed it over her. With that being said, she's a beautiful bunny. She has a really nice body. So, I like I said, I love her coloration. I probably will never, never have her on a judge's table just because of how skitterish and um, kind of, I wouldn't say she's mean, she's very scared. And I've worked with her so much on it, and she's still just not... Oh, I love that ring color. But um, she's just a scared girl. But if I can get her to tuck, her body's not quite as good as her sister's, but she has a nice little body. And her shoulder isn't as good as her sister's. Maybe it's a bias in her personality. Um, I like her sister's shoulder better. She has more of a down, like, her, it's kind of hard to see because she's not posing correctly, but here we go. She has a more slant. See how her shoulder slants down more and she's not quite as rounded off. Like, I, I just, I don't like her shoulder as much, but she still has a decent little body. And unfortunately, I do need more does in my breeding program. And I'm going to see what happens when I back breed her to her dad. Because her dad has a better shoulder. She got this crap shoulder from Sally. 
her dad has a better shoulder. So I'm going to rebreed her to him and see what she can give me, right? Because they also carry, carry a Harlequin gene. So again, we don't breed for color, but it'd be nice if I got those colors. Um, and if worse comes to worse, uh, and I don't like any out of that litter, then we can always cull them out and start over off of Saddle's line, right? She's in the preliminary stage, right? If I had a better rabbit, I wouldn't be keeping her, but I didn't have another female to keep. And I am trying to get more females into my program and I'm willing to give her a try, right? Um, later down the road, if I get a bunny like this, uh, it will not be bred. So right now her and her sister are sharing a cage. They're out of the same litter and they're just growing out until December so I can see what they give me. And again, I'm really excited. I'm just, this isn't my favorite bunny, so. We'll see, again, at this age, just to recap, on a junior bunny, what I look for. This is when I really look for body type. Do they match the body type? Check, good to go. Um, do they meet breed specifications? You know, when it comes to, you know, their weight. I weigh them all out, make sure they're not too big, not too small. Uh, you don't want to, you wanna have a nice grade average, right? Um, and depending on what you breed depends on how heavy or light they should be. Um, obviously a mini Rex is going to weigh a lot less than a giant rabbit, right? So just look at your breed standards. With that being said, another thing I look for, of course, do they have the right color eyes? Do they have the right color nails? Um, are their ears in the right parameters? And also, you know, uh, I look at their teeth. That scared her, that scared me. I look at their teeth, you look at their genital areas, you look for anything that could be a disqualification. And then on top of it, I'm taking a chance with her because I hate her personality. I also breed for personality because I'm selling rabbits for show, but also we sell rabbits for pets, right? I would never sell her as a pet. Her, she's too skitterish, her attitude's all over the place. She's kind of uh, jumpy and she's prone to biting. And scratching and she's gonna act like a sweet girl right now to prove me wrong but um I'm taking a chance with her we'll see how it goes and if nothing else i have more meat in the freezer all right so this is one of my senior bucks this is coco coco is what are you two now yeah so he's about two years old and when we get up and he's molting so he has little chunky pieces coming off but I, I love this buck. This buck is like amazing. And I also love my other buck, don't get me wrong, but this one's um, my favorite personality wise. He's really sweet. Um, I don't know where it starts getting difficult with your bunnies, right? Because this is where it's no longer about their standard. Um, I already know at this age, that they have a good enough quality to pass on. And he's kind of fat right now. Um, I need to lay off the uh, the grain with this one. Uh, he keeps weight really easy, which is a great, uh, it's a great trait to breed into your rabbits for them to keep weight easy. At the same time, you still wanna keep them in breed standard. So he wouldn't be in a show right now because he's fat. Now, if he lost some weight, I might think about it, but he's fat. At this age again, it's no longer about him. It's about what he can give me. So if I breed this sweet boy and he gives me the best litters ever, I'm gonna keep him in my breeding program. If I breed him, he's throwing uh, misshapen rabbits with bad body types. Um, all of his babies are mean. Uh, their colors are all wrong. They're throwing all kinds of disqualifications such as like booted brokens because he has a bunch of broken lines right he's a solid but he has a lot of brokens in his lines but he's throwing me um booted brokens or he is throwing me a lot of vienna marked that are truly vienna marked like um like let's say he had a white spot this one white spot like right here that's vienna marked or he has one little spot of white right here then i i wouldn't be keeping him right but he gives me good litters. His babies are healthy. They gain weight nicely. 
and they continue in my program, I will continue keeping him for breeding. A buck has to impress me more than a doe. Bucks are a dime a dozen. I can, I can get a buck out of him and replace him easily. Does are a little harder, right? But bucks, they throw me good kits. I'm going to keep them. Does, ouch. I want their personality. I want large litters with babies that gain weight fast, that don't die off. Um, I don't want them to fade out. Um, and they also, unlike Sally, should not be eating their babies. Um, Sally's on strike two, by the way. Uh, so strike three, she's done. Why did you just bite me? Why did you just bite me? Do you want attention? Do you want attention? Who's wrong, Coco? What was attention? Sorry, I got distracted. So, you know, at this, uh, at this age, I'm looking for good lineage, good parents. So this buck right here just gave me my newest litter, which I am much more impressed on with uh, than compared to Peppers and Sally. Peppers, I'm going to rebreed him to a few. I'm going to rebreed him to Blue. And then I'm going to breed him to one of the females out of Coco's litter. If he does not impress me, he will be replaced by another buck. Because I'm not impressed by what he's giving me. I had two does I was impressed with out of that whole litter. He threw um, Charlie's. So white bunnies with just very, very light spotting that cannot be shown and just don't want. They just, they basically had, they had colored ears and colored eyes. And that's something I don't want bred into my lines. It's like the opposite of a booted broken, right? Where they have all brown except for their feety feet. And their feety feet. So at this age, I'm looking at what they can give me for the future. And if they can't give me anything for the future, they're gone. And I will take a chance on a young bunny over an older bunny because um, males, males can breed up until the time they die. Females, it's a little harder, um, especially if you're on a rigorous breeding program. Most females, you can keep them around two, three years. But if they're older, like let's say they're two, three years old and they're not giving you the litter sizes that you want, they're not giving you the production that you want from a standpoint of quality, then they're not worth keeping in my breeding program. So there we go. So yeah, I love his body type. So there you have it. There's video number one of Madison Talks Way Too Much About Rabbits. Uh, I hope you like the title because it's a little lengthy. If not, we can just do like bunny talk or something. But I will be having a um, a playlist with this video and like me building my rabbit hutch and any bunny based videos because I'm already talking about bunnies. But I also wanted to bring up that when you're seeing this video on the second, that Ormsby Farms did release their fall collection yesterday. So definitely go check that out. I'm going to have their Etsy link down in the bottom. And remember, if you use the code ITTYBITTY, you get 10% at checkout. And just wanted to remind you guys because I forgot to go buy things yesterday, so I need to buy things today. So go check them out. I'm so excited to get some more candles. So I'll see y'all on Sunday and I hope you have a wonderful day today. See ya. Bye.